All right, welcome back to my tutorial let's play of, or let's play tutorial of They Are Billions here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. Returning where we left off, we're at day 29, and if you recall, we had defeated the first wave, and now we're waiting for the second wave to, the second swarm on day 32 to arrive. We got about three and a half days until it gets here, and so, but we wanna get, be a fair bit more prepared before they, they actually hit. So let's see what we got. Remember, we built the stone workshop, and we've got, we've, I think we upgraded to having the, the wasp, oh, that's going the wasp turrets, which are little automated machine guns, which are really cool. They can really shred lower level um, uh, enemies. And even in, in large groups, they can even make life miserable or <laughs> whatever you call it. I don't know if it's really unlife. Are these infected really undead? I don't think so. I think they're just biologically wrecked by the whatever pathogen has got them. But anyways, so we were put, placing these um, ballista towers. We've also obtained the the stone walls upgrade. So I think what I'm going to do first before we do anything else is, whoops, yeah, that's, I've, I'm going to upgrade these walls right here to stone. So we can just build new stone walls, but we can also upgrade the wooden walls to stone. I'm just, you know, like that. Let's see, I'm out of stone. So some, a few of these, like these right here did not get the upgrade. So let those upgrade. And as we get more stone, ah, uh, look, here comes some more. Ah, uh, those snipers are gonna, <laughs> Individual slow freaking zombies ain't gonna do nothing. See right here. Here we go stone walls that perimeter is way stronger than it was before Well while they're taking care of business, let's see what else we've got we need to upgrade this wall, too What else do we have here stone towers stone houses and the bank I'm actually hmm Let's see. Yeah, we're almost to the eighth hour, so we'll get some more money. See, our income right now is 603 gold, 47 wood, 10 stone, and 7 iron. And that's not include. And, and then, bleh. And then we have whatever deposits that the deliveries the train makes. I'm going to upgrade to the bank. And we have all our tents are upgraded to, to cottages, which is really good. We have 472. Um, colonists. Oh, I can hear the train. But let's actually, before we do anything else, let's build some more housing. Can't build our, let's see. Yeah, I can't build anything here. See, it's too close to the hunting cat cottage. Hunter's cottage. i build one right here. Or I could build it. Nope, not right there. I built one right here. And right here use that space use it so I don't have just an empty dead space right there the train has arrived at the station thank you oh, ah yeah, I've got another load of supplies let us nope right here right here Attention. building completed Ah, the great ballista over here is, is built. That's good. So that makes this area a lot more secure. But before we do anything else, since we've gotten a little bit more stone, let's finish these two right here. Bam sis. And get this started. Because it seems like the infected that come running along here hit right there. So if that is stone, oh, here's some fast zombies. Oh, Harpy, Harpy. Building completed. Thank you very much. Now let's see, do we have these towers are all full? With the exception of this one, which I think we should probably fill. So. Gonna do that, and these towers are all filled. Excellent. Attention, building completed. So we have some more cottages off complete. 
Do we have anything else at the wood workshop? Yes, lookout towers. I need to actually finish that right now so we can have everything from the wood That's workshop finished. Haha. Sniper is ready. Sniper is ready. Switch him to. I'm gonna leave that until the all the soldier train. I just you know put him onto the target highest level target. And if we look at our energy, we're starting to get kind of low. So before we actually are in a a pinch, let's. Hmm. Yeah, right there. Build another mill. Now, one thing you can, you might consider doing if you have a lot of work to do for your soldiers besides simply defending your walls, which of course we have. Oh, look at that. Here, they're coming. See these lines of zombies. <laughs> Is that you might want to consider building a second barracks, a second soldier center, because it can really help getting your troops trained faster. Ah, oh, look, right here. Here they come. Uh, I ain't gonna do nothing. Nothing! But what I am gonna do is upgrade these to stone and hit repair. This one right here. You can't upgrade or delete uh, um, walls. Or towers, or whatever buildings. If there's enemies, if there are enemies too close, that's something to keep in mind. Just like you can't build them, you can't upgrade them, or re repair them, or delete them. <laughs> All right. I, what I do next is build another wasp turret. Let's see. He is right here. So let's build one right here. I shall build one right here. Yeah. Or should we put one over here first? That might actually be the better idea. Yeah, let's put one right there. And then over here, let's see. We could put one right there, or we could put one right here. I think putting two right there would really be... Hmm, what to do? Yeah, right there. Because they seem to be coming right along this line and hitting right there. Another thing is you can upgrade your gates, like look right here, see? Stone gate, upgrade a stone gate. That'll make that gate a lot more powerful, and it's very important. Now I'm trying to put my gates not where the enemies are hitting directly, because I think it. you can then put more defenses right along there. Over here they're not coming quite as much, so I have my gates right there, and they can still come out there. And an interesting thing is that you, we could like, let's look at this stone wall. Like, if we put more, or what we could do even, you could make it such that this area is more or less protected by walls, and you could bring your, your like, QRF out here, and as the enemies come in, like, here, bam, put, have them come right out here and attack from the safety of the walls, and the zombies won't know which way to go, because they'll be getting shot by these machine guns and by these towers, but they'll also be getting hit from this way. I don't know. There's a lot of things you can do. It's pretty fun. We definitely have enough uh, energy for the moment, so let's see what to do. I'm going to put these to s stone to protect that um, machine gun. And let's actually upgrade. Uh, we don't have enough stone. We definitely need more stone, which, okay, which leads me to this next thing we're going to do. This stone deposit is really close and useful, and I think it would be a good idea to take advantage of it. Now we don't have to, we could build, we could go and build our a wall all the way out to here, which I don't know, we might do that. But for now, we can just do this, and yes, it could get attacked, but the truth is, is that even if it does, the damage will be easily able to be recouped after the attack is over. And we're going to put these guys in this tower. 
The train has arrived at the station. Thank you for, for that information. Get in there. So anyone who goes after this tower is going to get shot right there anyways. Well, they would probably get shot from him too. But then we can put another stone quarry because we're going to need lots of stone for our walls, for our towers, for and mainly for our houses. So let's get into the quarry. And we can put it right here, but that's kind of asking for trouble. We can put it there. We can put it right there. Yeah. That's only four though. Right here might be okay though. Right there would be protected. If we put it there, we could later on put another one. Like right here. Ooh, that's really good. Right there, seven. Damn. Pardon my language. Um, I try not to cuss too much. <laughs> I think I'm actually gonna put it right there. Yes, it's gonna get hit, but um, that's easily recoupable. And one thing we can do to help that not get so badly damaged so quickly, let's put a little bit of a wall right here. So that they'll hit that first and get wrecked by these um, towers and defenses. Let's see what's coming along here. All right, it's day 32. So that means we are about ready to get hit by the next wave of zombies. Next swarm. And are we prepared? Uh, I think we might be. Let's actually get a couple more um, wasp turrets. I'm gonna put one right here in case the zombies come from the from the the east. If we have them right here, eh, they could probably do a lot of good work. And one right. Here. One right here. These take, you know, gold and iron, but you know, we have, we seem to have a decent amount. Put one right here just to cover that gate. We can put one right here too. See, this is another good thing is that you can put them right between your other defenses and they only take one spot. Just like a tower, but you know. A horde of infected are on their way. They are approaching from the south. From the south. That probably means they're coming from right over here. I think right there. So they're going to come up here and slam into us right here in this gate. So let's get, where are our rangers? Rangers, you're, okay, you're here. So oh, they're not going to be too much here help. Here we go again. Are you yep. sure? Here we go again. Let's actually finish upgrading this wall. And this, ah, need to upgrade this. Attention. Okay, we're. Completed. Oh man, they're gonna get wrecked right here. Oh poor little 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 guys. <laughs> yeah, that was not a nice thing for me to put that right now. But we really do need it. <laughs> we need more stone. Okay, here's a, something. You could go to your market. Let's show you the market. And see, here's buying and here's selling. We could sell iron. We can sell wood. We don't have any stone to sell or and no oil. We can buy oil, all these other things. We can't buy any wood because we have, we're have we full of wood right now and we have wood under control at the, for the moment. We could buy five units of stone for 200, but ah, that's, eh, I don't know if I want to do that. I think we might be okay. I hope so. Otherwise, this will be the end of the tutorial. <laughs> okay, train sniper. Yeah, no, let's get some soldiers. Soldiers. Train up some more soldiers. Okay, three hours. Like I said, there'd be a lot of like intense music right now. If, okay, we got a little bit of a influx of resources from the train. No, no, no. Let's upgrade that other gate and let's upgrade you. All right. Bit more of an upgrade. Okay, here they are. Here they're coming. That's not them, but they're they're coming along. Oh, I really hope I didn't screw up. <laughs> this is not good. Oh, jeez. Here, in fact, 
Let's have you guys empty out temporarily and come down here. Just to sort of back Reporting us up. For duty. Reporting for duty. Tell me. All right. Tell me the answer. Is fate unchangeable? Hmm. Let's actually put a little bit more wood. Since we have the wood, we'll put some temporary. Okay. We can put some extra walls. Let's put. <laughs> Maybe this will get them to attack stupidly. You can really use walls to divert zombies. I have a feeling that all the shooting is going to attract more uh, zombies from the... See? See them? No, get over here, fool. All right, you get kill something. All right. All right. The wolves are under attack. Is yes, they are. Okay? But those are our diversion walls, so it's actually not too bad. You see that? Meanwhile, snipers and some of the soldiers in that closest tower are wrecking their <laughs> wrecking their day. And if they get in closer, this other machine gun. This other walk turret is going to start kicking in, too. Yeah, we got this under in hand. But they're not doing a very good job, are they? Okay, here it comes. Yep. Let's look over here, see. They are attacking the colony defenses. Are they drawing? There's just more rando zombies coming. Let's go back over here. I think they're probably going to get this tower. Yeah, they got it. That's fine. That's easily repairable. You see this tower over here, this turret over here is getting some play too. And this tower is as well. Oh. Well, it's fun to just watch the carnage unfold. All right. We do I'll need to make sure we're not wasting time. So let's pause that for a bit. Make sure everything's okay over here. Eh, it's just a little bit of an incursion, but they got that. And let's see, what do we need to do? We need, we have 3000 gold. So let's look at our next upgrade. Hmm. Let's do the stone house. Let's build another farm. We're gonna need a lot more food. Cause we're gonna need to build lots of, oh wait. That's a, not a farm. I was like, why is it not working? That was a quarry. Fool. All right. And let's train some more soldiers. We need a lot of soldiers because we're gonna have a, like a out, you know, like I said, a group that's gonna go out and start slaughtering zombies. <laughs> Stupid zombies. But you see how they hit that one area? They're not spreading out. But that extra wall we built absorbed so much of the damage that they were going to do. There, we got it. Alright. And there's the save state. For this, you know, the game saved at this point. And we've successfully killed another zombie swarm. And these are just stupid zombies incursion. All right, let's re. Tell me your darkest thoughts. Dude, you're creepy. What the hell's wrong with you? I don't know. We want to put these. Ah, not all of you. These guys need to go back over here. Back in their tower. Thank you very much for your service. Upgrade, upgrade. Upgrade. You see how like the wall I built right here 
and some of the wall here, it's all destroyed. If they hadn't built that, they would have easily swarmed over here and they would have probably broken all the way into here and we would have had, we probably still would have beaten them, but they would have probably destroyed everything in here and we'd have had, and these soldiers right here would have had to basically kill them. The, some of the zombies probably would have made it into the, into the, within the walls and then they would have been, you know, slaughtered in quick, in, you know, very quickly, but still, they did not actually penetrate our actual walls, so that's the reason you build these little out walls, outer walls, I guess, and we're going to hit repair all, and see, that'll repair these sections of wall, and it repairs this tower, doesn't repair this, because it depends on this building, and once this is repaired, then we can repair this, so cool, right on. Let's actually... You guys come over here. I'm gonna have these rangers come with them. A new task. A new task. Okay. Okay. We need a good number of soldiers. Reporting for duty. Because we are going to start clearing out the big nasties. And that's gonna take some doing. So first things first, let's get the stone tower upgrade. And then we'll be able to upgrade our towers again. Upgrade. 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 Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. See here, there's the next repairs, and see, that's repairing this stone quarry. And let's build another section of wall to defend it. Just use wood for now. Build more stone wall right here. We could actually build another bit of wall here and put more guns. I don't know, we'll see. More upgrade. For duty. Any orders? Okay, see, we have eight soldiers and four rangers in this group. I'm gonna pause. What you can do is, you wanna make a little easy to select group. You see right to the left at the, kind of the middle left side at the bottom, you see the ranger portrait and the soldier portrait, and then you see like one, two, three, four, all the way up to eight. You can make up to eight different groups. And I'm gonna take all these, and I'm gonna hold down L1, and then I'm gonna hit R1, and that makes them into a little group. So even if I, let's say, whatever, I'm doing other things, I'm like, oh crap, I back out to this, you know, where I have the free cursor, then I just hit R1, and there we are. And you can make different groups. It's pretty useful. Let's see. I think it's time for us to see about making a bank. What do we need to make a bank? We need more stone. So we need a thousand gold, which is not a problem. 50 stone, which we can get easily enough. We're getting 16 stone every eight hours now. 50 wood, 20 energy, and 12 workers. So let us actually, the one thing we're gonna come short on soon is energy, again, as usual. So let's build another mill. Let's put another tower since... No, 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 no. See, it's a good thing I actually had that paused. Oh, fuck. Because otherwise that would have cost me more resources to undo. Let's see, where is a good spot that's going to get this whole area, if there is one? Right? No, there's not one spot that's going to get everything. That's fine. That'll get most of the area. Right. Oh, here comes more zombies. Harpies leaping right up and over. Vaulting over. Harpies must have been like, you know, track and field or parkour sort of zombies. I don't know. <laughs> parkour. I don't even know what that word means. I mean, I know what it refers to, but I don't know how it means what it means. Alright, cool. Alright, well then I'm going to 
end this episode here because I have a few things that I have to take care of actually. And Attention. Building complete. if you look at where we are now, we're at day 36. The next swarm is at day 48. That swarm is going to probably be pretty big. It's not the last swarm, but it's the second to last one. It's going to be a pretty decent sized swarm, I think. And, hmm. Let's just wait till we get enough to start our bank. And then I'm going to cut the episode. Let's see. Ah, oh, here's the stone house right here. See, it takes 16 food, 16 food, 8 energy, 5 wood, 10 stone, and 300 gold. Ah, good. But it gives you a lot of, of workers and colonists and a good amount of gold, too. Let's see. Let's pause again since we're building a costly building. And just like the, what's it called? The market, it has a field of influence and it will give you a, make all those buildings tick will give you more gold. Let's actually look at what it says. Increases the amount of gold generated by each colonist and the surrounding dwellings. And so, it's pretty good. So every colonist gives you more gold and all the houses that are under its area of influence will give you 30% more gold, which is amazing. So let's put that right, let's put that right here. Let's see, that'll get a good number of the houses and we'll build houses on the other side of the market and bank as well. So, Amethyst. There, nothing says the return of civilization like, you know, compound interest. <laughs> I'm only halfway serious about that. Compound interest is a terrifying formula. Look at them just getting ground to hamburger. Those be some nasty hamburgers, but still, ground to hamburger. All right, cool. All right, well, next time I will when we come back, we're going to finish building our away group, our QRF, and send them out. We're going to continue to get prepared for the next swarm. And we're going to um, start building stone houses. Thank you very much for joining me on my channel, Idle Wisdom, for my Let's Play tutorial of the Arbillions. Talk to you all later. Take care.